Hello everyone, my name is Chloe and today I am here with a brand new video. Welcome to Brunette Bibliophile where I post bookish videos and writing content. Today I'm here to talk about some of my most anticipated releases for 2024 and we are going to be focusing on January, February, and March. So there's a total of 14 books that I am looking forward to in this first quarter of 2024. But unfortunately, there is still a boycott against St. Martin's Press and their various imprints. So I will not be talking about any titles that are published under those imprints. Fortunately, though, I only have one title that I'm looking forward to published under one of their imprints. So I will unfortunately not be talking about it in this video. For more information on the boycott, please make sure to check out Readers for Accountability on Instagram, and I will link them in the description below. So we are going to jump right in and get started and start talking about the January titles. The first one coming out on January 9th is Red String Theory by Lauren Kung Jessen. I just recently read her debut romance and I enjoyed it enough that I am interested in seeing what her sophomore novel is all about. I've also seen a lot of hype surrounding this second book coming out, so that makes me more excited for it. She is going to be at the Love Y'all Romance Festival in February, so hopefully I'll be able to pick up this one before I get to see her at the festival. Next coming out on January 16th, we have Midnight Ruin by Katie Robert. This is the next book in the Dark Olympus series. I think this is book six or seven. There's going to be a total of 10 books and I need to catch up on the series because I've been really enjoying it. I'm only one book behind schedule so, so I am looking forward to catching up and then being able to read this new one. I do already have it pre-ordered and I'm very excited. Next we have an anticipated release of a lot of Taylor Swift book fans and it is The Breakup Tour by Emerly Wibberly and Austin Sigmund Broca. This is so Taylor Swift coded and I'm so excited for it. We're following a pop star who is going on this tour and she is also touring with like this ex-lover that she had. So excited for this one. Next coming out on January 30th we have a book that needs no promotion and it is House of Flame and Shadow by Sarah J Maas. This is the third book in the Crescent City series which I have actually been working on rereading in anticipation of this book coming out. And I think with the way the second book ended, a lot of people are really looking forward to seeing how this book is going to play out and how all of her worlds tie together. Also coming out on January 30th, we have Lonely Hearts Day by Casey West. This is actually a novella that she is releasing. I don't know too much about it, but Casey West writes those slice of life stories. For, they're super fun and easy to get through, so I'm looking forward to reading a novella from her. Now we're moving into February and there are a lot on my list that are coming out on February 6th. First coming out on February 6th we have The Catch by Amy Leah. This is the third and final book in her Influencer series. Actually, the Catch by Amy Leah has gotten a date change, so it's actually coming out on February 13th, not February 6th. I've read the first two books and enjoyed both of them. I think the first one was my favorite out of the two. I really love this cover and I'm excited to see how she is going to wrap up this trilogy. Granted, it follows different characters in each one, but I'm still excited. Coming out on that same day, February 6th, we have Fangirl Down by Tessa Bailey. Tessa Bailey work is very hit or miss for me, but I really like this cover. I'm really starting to get into the sports romance and I want to look more into it. So very excited for this one. Probably one of my most anticipated releases of 2024 comes out on February 6th and it is Bride by Allie Hazelwood. I'm so excited that I'm going to be a part of a blog tour for Bride, so I will be doing a full review coming out closer to the release date but I am so excited for this one. It is a fantasy romance. We're following an arranged marriage between a vampire and a werewolf and I am a thousand percent here for it. Coming out on February 6th we have The Absinthe Underground by Jamie Pactin. I've not read anything from this author in a while. I read her first two books and I have not read her 2022 or 2023 release yet and I have no idea what this is about. But I have enjoyed her work in the past. So I did put this on my anticipated releases even though I have no idea what it's about. And hopefully it'll be something that I enjoy. I've enjoyed both of her YA contemporary works so hopefully I enjoy some of her newer stuff as well. Coming out on February 13th we have With a Little Luck by Marissa Meyer. 
It's been a minute since we had a Marissa Meyer release, I feel like, and this is the companion sequel to Instant Karma, which came out in 2021. I am a little bummed that this got a cover change from Instant Karma because I did think that cover was cute, but it's fine. Of course I'm gonna buy it and I am looking forward to it. This one we are following Jude, who is the brother of the main character from the first book. I can't remember what I rated the first book. I know I had a couple of critiques related to it, so hopefully those issues that I had with it won't be issues that I have with this book. And we're going to move into March and, and talk about the last couple that I have. Coming out on March 26th, we have Royal Scandal by Amy Carter. This is the sequel to Royal Blood, which I read last year. And we are back following our main character, who is the illegitimate daughter of the King of England, but he is now recognizing her as his daughter, and she's more involved with the family now. But this is also a little bit of a mystery, so there's probably going to be more scandals happening in the royal family. And the last book that I'm going to talk about in this video, also coming out on March 26th, is The Good, The Bad, and The Aunties by Jesse Q. Sutanto. This is the third and I believe final book in the Dial A for Aunties series. And these books are not necessarily mysteries, but they are just fun and quirky contemporaries. The aunties get involved in some crazy stuff, and there's definitely a lot of hijinks that happen in these books. I wouldn't call it mystery like Arsenic and Adobo, but it's still a really good series. And I'm excited to see what the aunties are getting into this time. So those are all of the books that I'm anticipating for this first quarter of the new year. I'm sure new stuff is going to be coming out throughout the next couple of weeks and there will be even more that I add to my list, but this is my list for now. Let me know in the comments below which ones you are anticipating or if there's a book that I didn't mention that you're anticipating. That is all I have for this video today, so thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. As always, if you like what you see here, please go ahead and click subscribe. I post new videos every week, so click subscribe so you can be updated for when I post those. Thank you all so much. I'll see you in my next one. Bye! In the darkness, I don't feel so